Hey, what's going on YouTube? This Southern Nights. Back at you with another video. Before you watch all the way through, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel. Links in the description box. Feel free to donate. If, if you want to start supporting my no holds bar content, no filter, hit my Patreon. Subscribe to the Patreon or join the Patreon, become a member, become a patron. And with that saying, I'm just going to make this quick video right quick. It was a Florida business owner, most likely a Trump supporter. And why this car stopping right here? Okay. Hostile environment. <laughs> but anyway, it was a Flo Florida business owner. Stop it. Pretty much, she was a, um, yeah, she was a Trump supporter. That that just messed me up right then, because, you know, I'm I'm always aware. But she was a Florida business owner, a Trump supporter, told a Biden supporter or people that support the Biden that they service is not welcome here, take their business elsewhere. And that's what Fox News reported on just a few minutes ago when I was scrolling down. But the reason why I'm speaking on it is because it's similar to what I was saying in the video yesterday. You remember y'all remember when I was telling y'all that even though both parties during the compromise of 1877, when the Democrats and po um, Republican politicians got together and overthrew the Republic, and the, later today, the people that's Democrat and Republic really thought that it was the difference between the two. Maybe it is on the bottom, but not the top. And now the bottom, which is the citizenry compared to the people at the politician, I'm talking about the 99%, they developed the energy over the years of the post civil war energy of the Democrats and Republicans. Now you seeing this for what it is. And this is the, ain't, this is the exact stuff that happened during the civil war. Uh, the exact same thing, denying people businesses, bomb, bombing their businesses, hit them up with dynamite. It, it was dynamite back then, but People couldn't go certain areas shooting at each other. The Democrat and Republic, the Democrat and Republicans were at odds with each other. And now that same energy is returning. Now, politically, they went against each other when it came down to voting in the early priors after the after the compromise of 1877. And that's when it was pretty much it was still atrocities happened against the black Republicans and the Europeans. But at the same time, over time, you had the political arena, Democrat and Republicans, was going against each other with the votes. And that's how they settled their disputes. But now it's going beyond that. It's going beyond that. Now you have that same energy that's coming back like it was during and prior to the civil war. And I told y'all that energy is coming back and now y'all see it for yourself. Matter of fact, I might just post that very clip on the beginning of this video, just to show y'all what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna have to chop it up in a way that is going to be fair use, but I'm gonna have to show y'all that video. So my thing is the energy is coming back because let me tell you something. When you pretend for so long and yes, 
over time it was people was playing the role and i'm not talking about the everyday people i'm talking about the politics or the politicians that compromise your what they call back in the days the carpet baggers and the scallywags when they got together that's where the compromise of 1877 and that's when both parties pretty much got in bed with each other and they created what you call the democracy our democracy and now fast forward the due to the fact that the people was unaware of that they still thought it was both democrats and republicans so now what you have now is that same energy that was during the civil war that unresolved energy is now coming back to play out the play out that same energy that what it was before now it, it's coming it's petering itself out now and you saw that long before on the right side of things or the democrat side how how they was against trump supporters but now both sides is doing it and now you have them coming out fox news saying that well we ain't gonna be no better than them and and i'm, I'm gonna tell you something eventually it's gonna happen like that eventually they're gonna give the same energy like they give the the democrats when they voted for trump it's gonna be look and, and i told you energy transfers when you carry that same energy from back in the days, even though you pretended that it was still a Republican government by preserving the Republican Party, and you have people masquerading as if they are for the Republic, but really they are in a democracy, and the everyday people is playing it out as we speak, even though the politicians probably know that. They probably know that, but the people don't. And now some of the people are being aware of that. And some of the masses is still going to carry it out, whether they be aware of, of it or not. They're going to carry out their energy. And now, sooner or later, now you just seeing people denying people. A after a while, you're going to, I'm just going to keep it real. You probably going to see if it's some blacks that vote Democrat. You probably gonna see some no blacks alive signs coming back again, <laughs> and it's not gonna be no it's not gonna be no racism. It's gonna be the political party that you vote for, even though the Democrats gonna make it a race issue, because you already know, quote unquote blacks are is the weapon of choice when it comes down to the race baiting issues, because that's how they profit over the years. And I seen how they profit when I was in Minnesota off of the Black Lives Matter signs, T-shirts, tickets, the merch, all, all, you know, going to concerts, you see Black Lives Matter. So it was all a profit. I seen that when I was in Minnesota with my own eyes. Matter of fact, I will, I can post you a picture that I took in the back alley and showed you that picture. It was a stack of Black Lives Matter signs like that. And each of them signs was like going for $25 a pop. $25 a pop. So imagine wherever they was going, imagine how much money that they made. And they were of European descent. I didn't see no blacks in there. So it was, that basically tells you that that group is not ran by black people. It's ran by white liberals. And that's what I've been trying to tell people all along when they thought I was delusional when I was in Minnesota. And they, I got flat for that in certain areas until later on anyway, but I'm, I'm used to that. But that's what I was telling them when I was in Minnesota, before I went back down South, that group is ran by white European liberals, even though the face of it is the, um, the martyrs, which one resigned. But other than that, I've seen it for my own eyes, but now, now this situation has happened. 
you already know if she deny a Biden supporter <laughs> to if she tell them guys to take their business elsewhere, you already know it's on another level now. Because now this is some post Jim Crow type stuff, but that's how it always was. It wasn't never no race issue. The the Jim Crow came from the political party that blacks was voting for. That's why they had to make it one sided. When the Klan went through all of the uh, estates in the southern states, the whole purpose was us, was to disfranchise us off our native ancestry land in certain areas. And the purpose why they were hanging the Europeans because they was preserving the Republic because they had a benefit in the Republic government in the southern states. And that's why it had to been overthrown. That's why if you look at the Klan cars, you will see black Republicans and black and, and white Europeans. And I put it in that context for a reason, because, you know, some people identify as black and white. Some people identify as Moors and Europeans or na native or indigenous or Europeans. That's the reason why I put it in that perspective. If it sounds weird, but that's what happened. So now you see that same energy is reciprocating back to the same place that it was before prior to, well, I could say 1861, but I could go a lot further into Andrew Jackson days back in what? 1839. I could go further than that because the original symbol of the donkey of the jackass came from Andrew Jackson. He was the first modern Democrat. So his symbol carry on into the Democratic Party. So it was impossible for blacks to become Democrats because we fought Democrats because Andrew Jackson was battling the Iroquois Confederacy. You see what I'm saying? And the Iroquois Confederacy was later on by Walter Plecker, Walter Plecker, if I say his name right, Walter Plecker. Yeah, Walter Plecker. Him and other people did the color code system, the brand system, the, the I don't believe in that paper bad tester, but I do believe in the color code system of the Negro, Black, and Color. So that's how the split came and they make it seem like it was different people. So that's, that's where that came from. That's why you never hear about the Gullah Wars. And I'm speaking about all of this for a reason. And I'm, I'm telling you that energy don't die. You might suppress it for a little bit, but sooner or later, that same energy is going to come back out. And that's what's happening right now. And it might sound like it might sound like I'm reaching a little bit, but here's the thing though. Why would she risk herself in her business to say that knowing that it's going to go viral? Why, why would she do that? Why would that store owner? And if I'm not mistaken, Florida is a democratic state. In a democratic state, is Florida a democratic state? I don't know. I don't know. If they turn. I don't know. If they remain blue or, or what, you know. But if it was, she did that in a democratic state. Think about that. Told a Biden supporter to get lost, go elsewhere with your business, knowing that in this time of the cancer culture that she going to get some backlash. So that lets you know that the climate and the energy is different here. So that's all I wanted to bring to y'all. I just wanted to bring y'all that quick video to let y'all know. I was just talking about that on my podcast and now you send it for what it is, but that's what usually happens. If I could talk about it a day later, a day before, and they'll usually happen that day or that week. Not to toot my own home and that, but I'm just saying, like, you, you, nobody can't say I'm not spot on with this. 
Because that's how it's going to start. Sooner or later, people are going to start putting hands on each other. Like I said before, hands. <laughs> the, that's that's what I feel like it's going to come after this. See, that this is just the start right here. This is just the start of it. Deny people out of their establishment. That's the start. The end result is the catching them on a dark road or going after them and their family member because they vote a certain way because the energy and the re because I'm telling you, man, it is it's that climate all over again. It it, it is that climate. Because the stuff that's happening around the world is starting to affect people now because people, children are dying. People, children are dying. People are about to lose their homes. <laughs> people, people is going broke. Jobs is about to lose their businesses. People is to get affected. They livelihood. Like this is direct livelihood attacks that's going on right now. Although it was happening to quote unquote the native people, original people for a long time, but it's happening across the board now. It's happening across the board. And it might not sit well with certain people. I mean, it probably sit well with us because if you, we, you know, if you're going through a half a century of this, you will tend to get immune to it. But certain people might not look at it like that. They they're gonna take it to another level. Best believe that. <laughs> so I wanna see. I'm I'm gonna see could I find it. I'm a, I'm I'm probably gonna put this in the beginning of the video. I it's all depends on how early I get to my equipment and stuff and and try to edit and do all the other stuff. So but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video though. Go ahead and check this out. I don't think it's probably going to make public news. I probably it's probably going to go viral. Everybody going to. And ooh, I don't even know the race, race of the people, y'all. Like, I don't. But. If it. I, I'm, I'm going to say this. If it was black people, you already know where it's going at. I, I'm just going to. If the Biden supporters was black, you already know where it's going. I, I didn't even really think about this when I was doing this because they didn't identify who the people were. But I would assume that if it was black, they would not hesitate to speak on it. Because of the weapon of choice situations. But maybe not. But we'll, we'll see. I, I'll dig further to it, but I'm going to show y'all the video and I will post this commentary after that. But with that said, Southern Knights, catch y'all on the next video. Like and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.